The same day Ixia was released, I made a video about her. In the very first ranked match I played her, I had a really amazing game with 17 kills. At that time, I really thought she was an absolute monster of a marksman because of the incredible result. But I completely overlooked the fact that usually what makes a marksman more sustainable, a meta-ish, is that they all have a skill that allows them to escape from dangerous situations, aka a dash skill, which is something Ixia lacks. But, was I really wrong when I said that she is a pretty solid marksman? She is actually a lot stronger than what many people think. A lot of players say that she's an absolute trash hero because of her lack of dash, but you will see that's not really the case from this gameplay. By the way, my counterpart is Bruno, and right now he's considered one of the best marksmen in the game. So I wasn't really sure how well Ixia could deal with him during the laning phase. Okay, seeing him so confident makes me think that I will absolutely lose this trade. I was actually quite surprised that Ixia actually can do so well against the best marksman right now. Oh man, this is not fair. But honestly that was my fault, I should have anticipated this gank. Their jungler started with the blue buff which obviously means that he will rotate towards this way. By the way, I built warrior boots in this game. I would highly recommend building these boots when you go against hard hitters like Bruno and Brody. I'm easily winning the lane, but their marksman is getting constant support. And that's okay, no need to complain about it. Hopefully that just means that my team has a bigger advantage in the other lanes. This Bruno is acting so confident that it makes me overthink that they're about to gang my lane. I guess that's why they say that all you need is confidence. Although a roamer took his time to gank this lane, his timing was definitely impeccable here.
Warrior Boots made a total difference in this fight. A lot of players when they play Marksman, they just want to go full offensive items, but whenever I see that they have heroes like Ling, Fanny, Hayabusa and so on, I like to build Warrior Boots. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. Three of them are dead, and I saw Ling in the bot lane. I know there's still a chance that their mage will come here to gank, but there was just a big battle, so most likely he already used his ult. And sometimes you just gotta take the risk, can't play too passive all the time. I probably should have built Veil Despair first, but I went for Malefic Roar because I wanted to penetrate that thick body of Belerick. I'm actually worried that Lin's coming this way and coming for my nuts. Oh man, if I only ulted before casting the second skill, I probably would have killed them both. And that's what's great about reviewing your own gameplay, because then you'll learn what were some of the mistakes you made. Their Ling actually farmed pretty damn well, it's already level 13. There's still a very good chance for them to turn this around, and it seems like he's making the right play at the moment by constantly split pushing, because his team's overall farm is quite behind. This is the advantage of building my Roar quite early. You can easily melt down their tanks. Their link keeps split pushing, but right now I'm not full HP and he's already level 15. It's very likely that he will kill me if I try to stop him by myself. I need to get Win of Nature next. One of the most important things to remember when playing Ixia is that you should be patient and wait for the right timing to use her ult in those big team fights. What? 
Ixia is actually not that bad, right? By the way, if you have watched my previous Ixia video, you probably also noticed that I made some adjustment on the build. I think the slow and attack speed from Corrosion Sight is amazing, but also building her with more penetration and raw power seems to be way better than the Trinity build, especially because during her ult, her attack speed is reduced significantly. But good news though, because I heard that in the next update, they are planning to increase her attack speed during her ult, which means she's gonna be even more insane than what you just witnessed. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see ya.